little buns, welcome back to my new home. I promise I will get you an apartment tour when I feel this place is set up how I want it to be, but that's not what this is about. Hopefully a lot of you were aware that I had a meetup on July 2nd. I promoted it all across all of my social media, so I really hope everybody that was able to go was aware it was happening. But I wanted to tell you about how that went and show you some footage, because my cousin, thank you cousin Charlotte, thank you, recorded a lot of footage for me during the meetup, so you'll get to see all of the action. It's gonna be great. So for those of you that aren't aware, uh, the meetup happened in a Shoppers Drug Mart beauty boutique. It's actually the one at Bloor and Running Mead. It's a historic building. It's inside of an old theater. It is the most gorgeous makeup experience I've ever seen. I used to work there, so I have close ties with the store staff, and it was a really fun event, and I hope you guys had fun too. So let's just talk about what happened. Let's see. Okay, first, there was a performance by a drag artist named Naomi Campbell. Not the Naomi Campbell, the model, but like I think it might be an impersonator. She was really great, very talented, did her little dance. It was really entertaining, good music, good RuPaul music. It was great. I love it. Good stuff. And then I came on out. Insert footage here. <laughs> And I did a makeup demonstration on Taylor, who I, so okay, listen, I was told they were going to pull a name out of a draw, okay, which I was so down for, I was like, everybody gets a chance, right? But then they told me to pick somebody, um, and I picked Taylor, she was in the front row, and it turned out it was a good choice, because she'd been there since 9 in the morning. That's a hell of a long time. Good job, Taylor. It was 2 p.m. at this point, for the record. Like, she'd been waiting for five hours, so like, props, Taylor. Good for you, that's amazing. I did a full makeover, I did everything except for her eyebrows, which I don't, you know, I to be very perfectly honest with you, I kind of forgot about the eyebrows, but her eyebrows are pretty good, so it was fine. Um, you can watch what we did right here. Well, how old are you, Taylor? 17. 17, that's when I moved to Toronto. Really? Are you still in school? Yeah. High school? Yeah. 12th grade? Uh, going into 12th, yeah. Going into 12th, all oh, right, it's summertime. Mm -hmm. Who knew that, I didn't know that. Do you have a favorite color tone? Um, probably blue. Blue? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, could you grab me the turquoise glitter? <laughs> Hi Jack, since you inspire so many others, we would like to know who inspires you? That's a good question. That is a lovely question, thank you. Um, I get a lot of, I mean, before I started YouTube, I got a lot of inspiration from video games and fantasy. I was very much into the whole escapism thing when I was younger because I, uh, I had a bit of a rough time in the real world, so I would go into video games, and that really helped me, and I drew a lot of inspiration um, for like beauty and, and the way I would dress and everything from that, but since I started YouTube, I find, like, I get a lot of Snapchats and tweets and images sent to me by who I like to call the bread squad, right? My, my followers on YouTube and, and, and the rest of the internet, and a lot of what they send me, like even, even art and stuff that they make, is, I find really inspiring as well. The parade, yes! I'm coming to the parade, I'm so excited. I cannot give you details, but you will you will see me, I promise. Um, I'm waiting on an email that I have not gotten yet <laughs> that tells me I can tell you, but I can't, so. It's kind of sad, but just know that I will be there and that you will not miss me, okay? I don't, are you guys, who's coming to the parade? Yes, okay, awesome, thank you. I love it. Okay, so I want to know, because um, I met you over a year ago now, and I didn't know that you were a drag mom. Where did that come from? Oh, <laughs> Okay, so for those of you that do not know, on YouTube, a lot of people call me bread mom, and I call them little buns. I have like a bread motif thing. Um, I don't, you know, I really like bread, but that's not the entire reason. <laughs> um, I did a Q and A video. I think it was a Q and A video a long time ago, like at least a year ago. And the last item that I was showing for my, it was a monthly favorites. It was that was a monthly favorites video. My last favorite of the month was a baguette, and I pretty much swallowed it whole <laughs> on the camera, and I just talked about how much I loved it, and I, I, somebody in the comments called me bread mom, and it just stuck. Um, and it made me happy. I don't know. I think it's cute. I really like it. And then the little bun things I have, because I said it, and then, you know, it's like a thing. I don't know. I really like it. That's the story. It's very basic. It's not like a cool, you know, structured plan. It just kind of happened. And we have your mom here. Yeah. Is it possible to ask her a question? Can we ask you a question, Mama? Sure. You want to come here? Okay. So we've seen mom. Yeah. On some of your YouTube. Um, it's easy commercials. <laughs> sort of. Commercials. Kind of. 
Um, and we want to know, in terms of makeup and staff and you and applications, at what point did you realize she was better than you at putting on your own makeup? <laughs> she was close to age 12. <laughs> she taught me a lot about color and um, just being who you are. I learned a lot from her. And um, yeah, I love it when she does my makeup too. We have a question from one of our team members here from Urban Decay. They'd like to know that if you could do any celebrities' makeup right now, who would you want to do? Hmm. Okay, there's two. There's two, there's two people. Um, one is Kari Nath. She is a trans model and actress. She's on Transparent. Um, she did a TED talk that was really good. Amazing. The other one is Laverne Cox. Uh, she is another trans actress. She was in Orange is the New Black. She plays uh, Sophia. She's been in a few other things too, but that's what everybody knows her from. Um, but those two women, I would say, are my number one. So we're gonna ask you, what does this experience feel like to you right now? Me? Oh, this is wonderful. I love Steph and I've watched her for a little while, so this is really exciting. And I'm not the greatest at makeup, so this is fun. Isn't she amazing? Isn't she so far? Very mature. When you first started to work in the beauty industry, you yeah. might shop her as drug mark. Ooh. Okay. Well, the short answer is because I grew up in a small town and the only place was Shoppers Um But that's not really why I stayed, right? Because I moved to Toronto where there was lots of options. Four other day, like other places I probably shouldn't be naming specifics, but um, Shoppers, like I applied to all these places. I interviewed with all of them. But Shoppers was, it was both like relaxing in terms of like I didn't feel like I had to be like, I guess putting up some kind of like facade with my, my with my employer or anything. Like I didn't feel like I had to be very, um, I don't know, on my toes. Like they kept me doing good work, they kept me productive, but I didn't feel threatened by my employer, which is great. That's really great. I really like that. Um, but another thing that happened is like, like when I came out and I started transitioning, shoppers didn't bat an eye. Like they just. They were, they embraced it, they were accepting, they wanted to ask, like, is there anything that I need? Can they help me in any way? And that is the response you should get from an employer. Um, if you're, you know, at work and you transition to, oh, we're gonna fire you now, because it's too hard. <laughs> that was a bit of a dark answer, I apologize, but it's the truth. Shoppers have inclusivity with their employment, and that's really, really important to me. Plus, okay, fluffy answer, okay. All these brands are fantastic. And off of the point, okay? <laughs> right? There we go. <laughs> All right, you ready? Look, 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 look. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So the glitter. glitter. I love it. Glitter's fun, right? Yeah. I love it. Um, <laughs> I love Afterwards, we went upstairs and we had a photo booth kind of situation with some professional photographers. Some nice big studio lights, a cool backdrop. It was really nice. We took photos. Oh, I want to show you the picture of me and my mama. We got photos like this in front of the Shoppers Drug Mart kind of backdrop. Um, and all of you got to take them home and I signed them if you were still around to get them signed, which was like, I felt pretty cool, I gotta be honest. I was... <laughs> Uh, and I drew little breads on them too. If you were there, you got a little bread on your photo. It's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> The rest of the event sort of proceeded um, with other guests. So Miss Fame had a little spot there and then Naomi Campbell did some more performances. And it was really cool, it was a great day. I met so many of you, thank you so much for coming. If you took a photo with me at the booth or otherwise like if we got a selfie afterwards, please tag me on it on Instagram. Um, not in the caption, but in the photo, otherwise I will not see it. I'm sorry, I know it's like tricky. But I would really like to see them um, because like it was a great day and I really hope you had fun. I had fun. It wasn't exactly what I expected, but it was pretty great. And there will be more Toronto meetups in the future, probably August or September. Um, I will let you know as soon as I have a plan and a venue for that. 
and uh, we'll, you know, we'll have another chance. So if you missed this one but you really want to come to another one, let me know if you have ideas in the comments of things we could do together. Um, keep in mind that there has to be kind of a business involved because I can't just ask you guys to meet me at the Eaton Center, for example, because security would be so pissed at me for having a group of like 50 people in the middle of the mall, or more. But like 50 people came to the one where you had to pay money, so like a free one's gonna be a lot more people, I think. So just keep in mind that, and let me know if you have ideas, because like I would love to hear your ideas. I would love it. It'd be great. I will see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Until next time, just remember everything's going to be fine. You've got this, you are talented and strong and capable, and I love you so much. Oh my god, from the bottom of my heart, you I love you, bye! Instagram user, Kirsten Bond 6 do you collect anything? I collect amethyst. I love amethyst. Any kind of amethyst. I love it. Oh my gosh. Necklaces, rings, like just stones. Big stones.